Not at all. Not at all. Uh, again, Raltegravir is 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 best is is the best known uh, integrase inhibitors in terms of the time that we have been using it, and uh, there's no no additional risk by using it uh, QD because uh, the, the 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 core of the drug is the same. The galenic formulation is different to allow to to to, to be used 600 milligrams to pills uh, once a day. No? The, the few patients that failed, uh, the selection of resistance was uh, very, very tiny and was not different in the twice a day versus once a day because some of our colleagues might, might ask, oh, okay, but if I use it once a day, uh, am I putting my patients on risk, at risk uh, of selection of resistance? This is not the case. 0.8% resistance uh, selected in, in each arm. So it's. Uh, Numbers are, are very similar to uh, the former Raltegravir study, so it's safe, it's, it's more convenient. Raltegravir initially was launched uh, after the, uh, the, the result of the benchmark studies that were, were done in patients severely exposed to antiretroviral therapy, having failed tri triple class. And for the first time, patients in, in, uh, in, in very advanced disease and very advanced failure uh, could achieve uh, undetectable viral load when when raltegravir was combined with other drugs and after that uh, raltegravir was uh, was tested in, in naive patients and uh, in the startmark trial and this this gave way to, to the use of raltegravir in the first line so uh, raltegravir can be used across all the spectrum of, of disease